Hi there, welcome back to this channel. And in this video, I'm going to take you through monotonic functions. So, under that, you'll be looking at monotonic increasing functions, monotonic decreasing functions, as well as monotonic increasing and decreasing functions. So, this is Kaplos family, and this, if this is the first time you've been on this channel, kindly subscribe to support and also watch this video to the end. So, what are monotonic functions? So, when you see monotonic functions, as I said, it has been categorized into monotonic increasing, monotonic decreasing, and monotonic increasing and decreasing functions. So let's take monotonic increasing functions. So monotonic increasing function. So when you say monotonic increasing, all that you are trying to say is that the function never decreases. So it keeps on increasing. That's the nature of the function. So a monotonic increasing function keeps on increasing over a range of numbers. Okay, over a range of numbers. So generally, let's say you have x1 and x2 being two numbers in the domain of our function, so that x1 is less than x2. So for a monotonic increasing function, f of x1 should be less than f of x2 so i say it again when you say monotonic increasing function okay all that you are trying to say that assuming you're having these two points in the domain of our function say x1 and x2 where x1 is less than x2 so if you say that the function is really monotonic then monotonic increasing so then our f of x1 should be less than f of what x2 that is it's never decrease so in the manner as your domain is i mean increasing your functional values will keep on increasing likewise okay so that's monotonic increasing so you can say that when you say monotonic increasing is the same as a non-decreasing function okay so monotonic monotonic increasing is the same as non-decreasing non-decreasing that is it never decreases okay non decreasing so you can take note of that never decreasing function never decreasing function so let's see graphically how you can explain monotonic functions so when you have a monotonic function which is increasing you can have a graph su such as this that is the graph starts from negative from up to the positive side and it goes up to infinity so it never decreases it keeps on increasing to infinity we can also have um, a graph like this which will be a quadratic graph so it starts from the smaller numbers on its domain to infinity it never decreases now let's see monotonic decreasing function let's see monotonic decreasing function so when you say monotonic decreasing functions, so monotonic decreasing function. So for these types of functions, as the name says, monotonic decreasing, that is forever decreasing. You get it? Let me say it that way. Forever decreasing or non-decreasing, non-increasing. Okay. It will never increase. But the monotonic here is like it's forever decreasing function okay so the same thing if you have two points in its domain so that x1 and x2 where x1 is less than x2 right so in monotonic decreasing function f you you get f of x1 always greater than f of x2 right because it is decreasing right it is decreasing so it is descending so f of the x1 would be greater than f of what x2 it's not going according to the domain increment so monotonic decreasing can also be said to be let's say a non-increasing function the function never increases okay it never increases so you can graphically also represent this as you can graphically represent this as this way can have a negative gradient line which starts from 
infinity and descends down to negative infinity okay you can also have a curve we start from positive infinity and also descend down to negative infinity so this is a non-increasing function along its along its domain it never increases it's always decreasing okay it's never increases so let's see the final type then we solve some problems here so the last one is the monotonic monotonic increasing and decreasing function and decreasing function so these types of function they do have both increasing and decreasing sections okay or components so you have let me draw this you can have a function this way okay then the function will come this way like this so you realize that at some point the function was monotonic increasing and at a certain point it stopped and it started out decreasing it became a monotonic decreasing and also at another point it started increasing again so these are types of function where it has different components over different ranges to be hot decreasing and hot increasing um appropriately okay so maybe from this section negative infinity to a number c negative two the function was monotonic increasing it kept increasing but once it treat negative two there was a 10 point right and it started decreasing and at point zero it started increasing again so these are monotonic increasing and decreasing functions put together so now let's take some few problems here so you understand the concept well. So for monotonic increasing and decreasing function, normally the problem that comes is a proof problem. We need to prove that indeed a function given is monotonic increasing over its domain. All right. So let's take the first question. So show that show that the function f of x is equal to square root of x minus 2 is an increasing is an increasing function on each domain so we have to show that the function f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 2 is an increasing function on its domain so let's see how we solve such a problem so first of all you ask yourself when you have a function f of s is equal to is equal to the square root of x minus 2 what will be the domain of this function so you need to get the domain down before you start the question so what's the domain of this function you realize that for radical functions it doesn't accept negative input right so meaning that our function here will take anything that will make the argument of the radical negative out so for x minus 2 equals 0 we realize that whatever here becomes less than 0 provided our function provided that x here is less than what 2 okay because at s equals 2 this function here becomes 0 and that is the acceptable or the threshold so we just say that let's say x minus 2 is greater than or equal to what 0 so s should be greater than or equal to what 2 anything outside this range becomes invalid so how do we write x is greater than or equal to 2 mathematically so from intervals when you have s is greater than or equal to 2 meaning that the minimum you can get from this range is or 2 and it should be close because it's greater than or equal to so you just represent it with a square bracket so you write your 2 then once it's greater than that is the right side of 2 so the highest it could go is plus infinity positive infinity but whenever you write infinity we use an open bracket because infinity cannot be specified exactly so we use that so once you get this domain down this is the domain we have to prove that this function is indeed increasing function on the domain once you hear this increasing monotonic increasing or non-decreasing function right so is this function really going to increase on this domain how do we do that we select any arbitrary 
points in a domain say x1 x2 so you write x1 x2 which is a member of what the domain of what f you state this one down now provided that x1 is less than x2 then we can really show from here that the function over this interval here will really be an increasing function so how do we do that when we write x1 is less than x2 these are the two arbitrary points we've chosen and you know that the minimum domain minimum number our domain is taking is of two so we can obviously say that my x1 here will be greater than what two but less than what x2 because originally i stated that the x1 is greater than what sorry it's less than x2 but within the domain the minimum number you would ever get is 2. So meaning that this x1 is also going to be what? Greater than 2. So once you have something like this, we have to solve this. Or we have, the, the goal here is to make this x1 and x2 look like our function. We are converting it from the domain range into the range of its, okay, or the functional value. So let's see how we're going to do that. Once we have these two here, and you can see that we have x minus 2. Meaning that we, make, we have to make this x1, x2 here b x1 x minus 2 then you have to for that reason you have to carry these two on each side so this one is the same as two here will go away that is you subtract two from every part of our equation so two minus two less than x1 minus two less than x2 minus two so here becomes zero less than x1 minus two less than x2 minus two right so this is the first step but you know we have a square root sign here so what do you do we take square root sign on both sides on all the sides of our equation so here you are going to get square root of zero less than square root of x1 minus x2 less than square root of x2 minus 2. so with this one here you can see that this becomes zero less than square root of x1 minus 2 less than square root of x2 minus 2. When you say square root of x1 minus 2, it's the same as f of x of x1, right? So you have 0 less than what? f of x1. Because when you put x1 into the equation, you get exactly what you are seeing here. Less than, when you have square root of x2 minus 2, is the same as f of what? x2. So now we've gotten that f of x1 is greater than 0, but less than what? f of x2 meaning that our function is always increasing so you just see that since f of x1 is less than f of x2 our function is what an increasing function on a domain because as the domain increases our function increases correspondingly and that is for this part that is all for this part thank you for being with me in this video Kindly subscribe, you like and you share.